higher up, a salvage crew strips Ocean Tower's riches. These suites are almost complete. Plumbing installed, bathrooms tiled, and walls ready for paint. Brand new materials built to last for decades. Ripped out before their time. Metal shores installed to take stress off the failing columns are exceptionally valuable. These are salvageable. You know, there's a market for these. We can probably sell them for three to $400 a piece. They'll recycle more than 66,000 tons of material. 85% of what went into the building. On the east side of the tower, the parking garage deals Mark another big challenge. Most of it sits right where he needs to land the tower. But he's not sure if he should remove it. It's a post-tension structure, something the crew doesn't usually come up against. Post-tension beams are made of concrete, but they're also filled with dozens of cables. These are pulled tight and then secured with metal anchors at both ends. This makes the beam stronger. Perfect for a car garage, but potentially disastrous for CDI. You've got beams here that have almost 2,000 kips. That's 2,000 times 1,000 pounds tensile strength. If we drop the structure on that rubber band that is stretched that tight and it snaps, where does it go? Thousands of one and a half kilo anchors could terrorize the neighborhood. Some of these post-tension beams also run under the faulty tower. Demolishing the garage before shot day could send the building into a free fall. And at that point, the tower would just inexorably move. There's no stopping it. Mark faces a difficult choice. 